Your membership at the Idea Exchange Old Post Office Makerspace allows you access to a variety of innovative creative technology. This tutorial will demonstrate the basics of preparing and slicing your 3D print for the Ultimaker S5. For printing on the Ultimaker S5, we use an open source software called Cura. You can download this software free of charge on any computer. If you're loading up the software for the first time, it will ask you to select the printer that you are using. In our case, it will be the Ultimaker S5. First, hit the Open Folder button in the top left of the screen to open your STL 3D model file. Before changing any of the print settings, we will want to make sure the model is oriented properly. Ideally, we want the model to be printed with a flat side on the bed for good adhesion. There are three buttons that we will concern ourselves with for this tutorial. They are, from top to bottom, the Move, Scale, and Rotate buttons. When you left-click the model, you will see three axis arrows show up. You can either drag the arrows or drag the model itself to rearrange it according to your needs. You can also scale the object by either clicking and dragging any axis, or if you know the exact dimension it needs to be, fill in the appropriate field. If you want the aspect ratio to stay the same when scaling, ensure that uniform scaling is turned on. When changing one axis, it will change all three proportionally. The third button is our rotation button. If the model did not import properly, for example, with the flat side against the bed, you may need to rotate it. Once the model is sitting where you want it and scaled properly, we can now look at our print cores. The Ultimaker S5 is a dual extrusion printer, which means that we can print with a combination of materials. The most common combination is PLA for the model itself and PVA or polyvinyl alcohol for the supports. This kind of support dissolves in water and is most appropriate for models where supports are needed in tight spots. For this video, we will prepare a model printed in this configuration. First, we want to load print core 1. At the top, you want to click here to change the print core and materials. You will see two tabs, 1 and 2. Click the first tab. Make sure it is enabled and click the appropriate material you are planning to use. You can select Ultimaker brand if you're using that, or simply generic PLA if it is off-brand. You will want to make sure AA0.4 is selected as the print core, as that is what we use. The AA print cores are for all non-abrasive filaments, such as PLA, ABS, and nylon. For the second tab, again, we will make sure it is enabled, and we will choose natural PVA. Since we are choosing PVA material, the print core has to be BB0.4. The BB0.4 print core is used exclusively for PVA material. Once we have made sure our print cores are set, we will now move to adjusting the print settings. On the right side, you will see some simple predetermined settings. If you are new to slicing or are printing a relatively simple model, you can use one of these profiles. The advanced settings will be automatically set. For example, if you are prototyping something and don't necessarily care about the quality, you could choose the draft profile. This will print with a lower resolution, but much faster than normal. Furthermore, you also have some other basic settings you can adjust, like infill, support, and adhesion. If you want to dig a little deeper into the countless variables, 
you can click the custom button to access these. These are only a fraction of the infinite variables Cura allows you to change. But in all likelihood, these will be all you'll need for 99% of the printing that you'll be doing. Some of the most common variables you will change are layer height, infill density, support, and build plate adhesion. Layer height is how closely stacked your layers will be. A lower layer height will look smoother and more flush, but will increase print time by a lot. 0.2 is a good compromise between quality and speed. You can also change the infill if your print demands more strength or will be used as a moving mechanical piece or subject to stresses. The printing temperature and build plate temperature should automatically set based on the material you chose when loading the print cores. In terms of speed, 50 to 70 millimeters per second is a good middle ground for printing PLA. Again, you can experiment with some of these things to see the results. Under support, make sure the box is checked if your model has overhangs of more than 45 to 50 degrees. Make sure your support extruder is set for extruder 2, as we are going to print our supports with PVA. You can choose to either place the supports everywhere or touching the build plate only, depending on your needs. For build plate adhesion, you do not typically need to enable the prime blob. If you only have a small section of the model touching the build plate, you should print with a raft. However, if you have a solid amount of flat material on the build plate, you typically don't need any build plate adhesion. Once you are satisfied with all of your settings, hit the slice button. Next, hit the preview button at the top and it will show you what both the model and the supports will look like. At the bottom right, you can see how long the print will take, how much material you will use, and also the approximate final weight of the model. When you are satisfied, hit the Save button. Ideally, you will save it to a USB, which is the easiest way to transfer it to the machine. Congratulations on slicing your file. It is now ready to print.